Good morning. Working in the construction phase, chapter 20, using digital markups. Now, the methods and procedures I'm going to discuss have been augmented into a BIM 360 docs, BIM 360 design. The name changes from time to time, but the underlying methodologies remain the same. Fret not, I have your best interests in mind. Both Autodex A360, www.autodesk360.com, and Autodesk Design Review offer an efficient way to view and mark up 2D digital, digital documents and 3D models. This workflow is different from revisions and is geared more towards informal design review rather than the management of sheet it revisions and is geared more towards design review rather than the management of issues. For example, if your drawings must be reviewed for quality, <sighs> control <sighs> and overall comments by a senior designer who might not be familiar with the Revit software, this cool this cool tool can streamline the process. The senior designer senior <laughs> senior consultant or any other third party can make comments and review changes directly in the digital file and return them to the Revit architecture user who needs to modify the original model. In this section we're going to focus on the use of design review for DWF markups. Both applications are capable of this workflow. Think of the A360 tool as an online version of the DWF markup tool. It additionally has many powerful collaboration tools to help the overall project process. Markups are only a portion of what the tool does. Feel free to explore A360 to see the full effect it can have on a team collaboration. Now, Yes, this is an irritant. Sure, you can walk around with your tablets and your stylus and you can mark it up in really pretty ink. It doesn't make you a senior designer. It doesn't make you a senior anything. It makes you able to walk around with a piece of paper and a stylus and draw around things. Senior is a very loose term. Now, excuse me, like deep gals. So feel free to explore what it does A360 to see the full effect it can have on team career. <laughs> using nonchalance, oh, I'm sorry, using, uh, using de design review, you can view files in DWFX or DWF format. If you export sheets to DWFX and the markups are linked back into Revit, the markups will be automatically placed on the corresponding sheet. So there's no need on your part for any sort of alignment or placement of the revisions. My, my point that I'm trying to illustrate is that you can eliminate that particular player from the equation. You're a designer, you're an architect, you're an engineer. Why need a senior designer to tell you what to revise? You're coordinating it. You're collaborating it. Cut out the middleman or the middle woman, right? Isn't that the point of culling the herd for those who uh, refuse to conform to what the industry demands? Sometimes, when I wake up in the morning, that's my mantra and my modus operandi. Sometimes, I want to work and collaborate well within the faculties of those who haven't attained this level of expertise yet. Does that sound a bit belligerent? Does that sound a bit pompous? Well, to a certain extent, as you 
weather the notes, sometimes you have to return them to the origin. That being said, Design Review is a free tool that you can download from the Autodesk website at www.autodesk.com. We talked about this. I had issued a video. I haven't edited all my videos yet. I'm still going through them. Anyway, it's down on the Autodesk website. Once it's installed, you can open and mark up any DWFX or DWF file produced by any Autodesk or other CAD slash BIM software package. So in the course of administering these projects, I have to go back and time date stamp exactly uh, when the criteria was issued and the deliverables are expected to be delivered. Again, it's a cryptic message for those in the know. It's a cryptic message for those in the know. Publishing to design review. There are two ways to share your model using design review. A 2D drawings, as 2D drawings, or as a 3D model. If you publish to 3D, you can create a single 3D representation of your model that can be or orbited. You can orbit them these models. Mm -hmm. You sure can. You can orbit the model. It's plural. And what you view a model and how you view a model is going to play into this. Person, place, a thing. Proper noun. All things. I have the advantage. I'm not going to relinquish it. You can orbit your models, and we will. I will orbit them. You can take that to the bank, too. I'll reiterate it. If you publish to 3D, you create a single 3D representation of your model that can be orbited. That can control visibility of L categories and that can be queried for the properties of any of the elements. Publish to 2D can create either a single view or a whole collection of interconnected views and sheets Package is one file. You can even combine 2D views and 3D models in one DWFX file. Exporting DWFX files. You can export. After you orbit him, I'm going to export him. After I orbit him, I'm going to export him. You can orbit <laughs> your exports to DWFX from any of you except the schedule. To export your views or sheets, select the application menu and choose export DWF, DWFX. The DWFX CD dot dot. The DWF export settings dialog box will open. Here you can choose views, sheets to export in addition to specifying how the results will be published and then they will start to become more trippy. At that point, this is where they trip. The majority of them. This is the trip. The overcurrent protection device. Just so you know. Page 859. Issue to Trippy. Professional.
Hmm. Absolutely. I'll get back to this in a bit. Let me cool off. <laughs> 